from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Ann Curry, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning. Welcome to Today on a Wednesday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. And I'm Ann Curry. Just ahead, the 72,000 square foot mansion being built out of concrete in Missouri. Up next, the mystery surrounding the massive 72,000 square foot concrete mansion that is now rising in Missouri. We're going to take you inside one of the largest homes ever built in the U.S. right after this. Back now at 748 with an inside look at the mega mansion being built in the Ozarks. The 72,000 square foot home, that's right, 72,000 square foot home is the source of many rumors. Are Hollywood stars moving in? Could it be a bunker for Homeland Security? Well, NBC's Kevin Tibbles is in Highlandville, Missouri with the tales on this. Hey, get, you have some answers, Kevin? Good morning. And you can just imagine the rumors, people wondering, what are they doing way up there on the hill? Well, this is what they've been doing. They've been building Pensmore, a modern-day, state-of-the-art, energy-efficient, disaster-proof castle. Rising from an isolated hilltop high in the Ozarks, a massive concrete mansion unlike any other, soon to be one of the four largest homes in America. Its name is Pensmore. Pensmore is a loosely derived contraction from the French root for thinking, pens, and the English Pals. word for more, more. Pense more, pens so, more. Pens more, pens more. And there's probably been more thinking put into the construction of this palatial estate than ever. All the brainchild of successful software entrepreneur Stephen Huff, who designed Pensmore to be state of the art. How much concrete is going to be poured here? Well, several thousand yards of concrete. Pensmore will be one of the largest disaster-resistant homes in the country. It is not far from Joplin, Missouri, devastated by a tornado this past spring. Pensmore is made from an innovative concrete additive with millions of tiny pieces of wire mixed in, reinforcing it against anything from an F5 tornado to a bomb blast. It makes the concrete much stronger. So I guess you're thinking heating and cooling a house this immense would probably bankrupt you. I know it would me, except Pensmore is so energy efficient, they're not planning on spending a dime. Plastic tubes snaking through the insulated concrete walls will carry a liquid antifreeze of sorts, all powered by solar energy, either to cool or heat the enormous house. At 72,000 square feet, Pensmore is bigger than the White House, bigger than the Hearst Castle, and just shy of Buckingham Palace, and all made of concrete. So when people think concrete, they think? They think ugly. But this won't look like a bunker. The exterior, when finished, will resemble a French chateau. And Huff's daughter Susan is in charge of decorating the interior, all 13 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. We're rather down to earth. We're not swanky people. We just want a traditional look on the inside. Pensmore is so big, so inventive, so cutting edge, that people started speculating about just what was going on up there on the hill. First theory that we heard was the movie star theory. After that, it escalated to aliens, extraterrestrials. Actually, Brad Pitt does hail from nearby Springfield, Missouri, but no, he and Angelina and the kids won't be moving in. Neither will E.T. and his alien buddies. But there will be a little girl running around, Huff's six-year-old granddaughter, Lucille. Do you think your grandpa will let you have a playroom? Mm. Yeah. Does he always say yes whenever you ask him for stuff? <laughs> and Pensmore, playroom and all, is on schedule to be completed by late 2013. Is there anything you forgot? <laughs> if I knew that, I wouldn't have forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, Stephen Huff became so enamored with this new 
insulated concrete technology ended up buying the company and building Pensmore out of it to test it all. But of course, uh, he hopes for the future that they're going to be able to build more energy efficient and safer schools, hospitals, someday maybe even homes. Um, I'm now standing in the Great Hall, and I've got to tell you guys, I've already got my dibs on this. I know exactly what kind of sort of, you know, kiss posters and stuff I'm going to put on the <laughs> wall in here. The yeah, view of the Ozarks. Great. All right, Kevin, thank you <laughs> so much. The view of the Ozarks is spectacular. Good. Right, More coming up.